Hey, why not rock things along if you got nothing to lose? Hi, Steve, Stefan, Stefan, Stephanos, Isonides, former um, Apple <laughs> Apple um, employee and employee of ATO. Um, while we were together um, from um, June, July 2010 to... Um, uh, 2015 in March um, uh, it was a terrible time you did teach me a lot of stuff and I do have pity for you because um, you um, are kind of the narcissist type and I'm the acute empath type which always goes off with a bang and um, when we parted ways we didn't have a um, settlement did we I've, I've dedicated a page on my website killhim.info um, to you um, so I've got a letter from your lawyer saying um, that um, all these lies. But um, anyway, facts are facts. You embezzled $1.2 million in an offshore tax haven, didn't ya? <laughs> the has come back and bite you in the ass. And um, ACO covered your ass by giving you a $200,000 fine. And you threatened a hitman on me by the name of Brendan. You met at a... Um, a um, uh, um, a, a, a psychology group for fucked up people because that's right you're a bit fucked up too and um, and then further to that I didn't chase that for ages because I was literally scared because you thieved all my white goods and you stole my car and it was either an off or on thing that it was you know kind of a nasty throw a few crumbs and like you know and twist my head around and I mean it, it wouldn't have been possible that you admitted you were present at a murder and you used to fly into Broome um, to, to deal cocaine. Um, and then we went to that Broome place and you told me all about it. Um, no one would make up a story like that and it didn't happen. So I'm not assuming that it did. And um, you escaped with, I think, um, you always bragged that you were going to um, retire well in retirement. Yeah? Yeah? I think you said you had like a million in super. Do you know what documents I have about that? Do you know um, the USBs you left behind and, um, you know, all the um, statements you left on the computer um, that were still on the computer, um, but in a different photo library? Um, all of that stuff and the, and the illegitimate payments you're receiving, all that kind of stuff. Like, in the whole gist of it, I mean, you're a nice guy. You're a nice guy. Hey, you're very charming. But um, you left me short of $500,000. I don't want $500,000. You've successfully, through proxy, framed me. And I literally can't go to the police. I can't be a whistleblower. And I can't get legal help. What the hell? It's almost like someone's against me from the secret police. How funny. Because um, it, when I was younger, I used to think the secret police were after me. And now they actually are. <laughs> and they've been after me so much and delaying, deferring and denying my justice for so long that I was um, criticised for having delusions of grandeur and locked up and because I'd proven that no one in the world had my back such as my brother, my sister, my mum, my dad, any friend to step in and say hey, we'd spent five years with this guy cooking and cleaning and looking after the dogs and um, it was highly financially, coercively, coercively inequitable. Um, so, um, just as a little statement for you, Stephanos. And um, I'd just like to say, you still owe me 500 grand. And I'm going to get it. Or, or, or I won't. I'll die. Or you'll send me a hitman. One or the other. But anyway, this is out there. I've dedicated a page to you on killing.info. And you know what? I'll settle for 250. Just fang it through to my account and I'll let you off the hook. Cheers.